We're making a boxing game. Hi and welcome to the first game development vlog for a physics-based boxing game I'm making. I've made a few videos on this channel, but since this is the first dev vlog, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to properly introduce myself. Hi, I'm Pontus. I work in the film industry as a visual effects artist. I'm Swedish, I live with my lovely wife and our little dog in Vancouver, Canada. I've been learning Unity and Unreal for quite some time now, following tutorials, reading books, and I feel like I'm finally ready to start making a game of my own. As you can probably guess, I have all these grand ideas for creating these awesome video games, but the problem is, they're just way too big, and there's no way I could finish any of them in a reasonable time frame. Add to that that I'm still learning how to make games, and I have a full-time job. So, I'm gonna follow a piece of advice everyone is giving me. Start small. So let me tell you about the game. I recently started kickboxing in my spare time and I wanted to play a game that sort of mimics the experience of that but I looked around a bit but I couldn't really find much of what I was looking for at least so I figured why don't I just try to make a simple boxing game? I want it to be a pretty raw experience for the player, so that it's, you know, simple controls and not too much stuff going on. I have a few ideas of how I want it to feel and how to manage health and stamina and stuff like that, but I'll, I'll tell you more about that later when we get to it. And because I'm the type of person to <laughs> start something up and only to quit a month later, I knew I needed some form of accountability, so that's why I decided to make these videos. Also, I'm hoping that they could serve as some sort of inspiration to anyone out there watching. I'm super excited to get this project going, so let's get to work. Siggy, let's go. For this project, I'm gonna be using Unreal Engine and Blender. I think those will be enough as I don't anticipate doing a lot of texturing work. I quickly set up a Trello board with some short-term goals for getting a simple prototype up and running. I don't wanna add bigger milestones just yet. I wanna start small and make sure to keep things digestible for now. I decided to just get going with a simple sphere and some basic controls, just so that I could get a feel for what was in my head. I feel that it's really important to get something playable as early as possible, even if it's just a few boxes cobbled together, just so that you can see what it feels like. So as you can see, I've decided to make it sort of like a top-down experience, more than close-up, so that you have full view. I also made it so that when you're moving around, your character will constantly be facing the opponent. And then, okay, so you're gonna have to use a controller for this game though, but basically, your left trigger is gonna be your left hand punch, and the right trigger is gonna be your right hand side punch. Uh, and then you'll use the right thumbstick to maneuver your body around, which you can then use to dodge and stuff. But you can also use it in combination with the punching, which will then lead to performing different attacks. I'm also thinking we're gonna be blocking with these shoulder buttons. I'm really happy with what we have so far, and I feel like to move on, I think we really need to put a dummy character in there so that we can really start filling in what it's gonna feel like and add some punching mechanics as well. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be using Blender to create characters and rigs, etc. Now, I am pretty used to using Maya. I have been doing a little bit of Blender, but not too much, so I'm fairly new to it, so this is definitely gonna be an adventure. So this is what I came up with. I think it's definitely gonna work for now and it looks kind of funny, so yeah, I think it's gonna be great for now. Now I just gotta rig it, make some simple animations and then we can bring it into Unreal. I don't understand how to duplicate this stupid rig. All I need to do is put the arms and the legs on the other side, but when I do that, look. Duplicate, great, and then I just want to scale it in the X. But I can't, I want to have the pivot here, there. God damn it. <laughs> uh, see, I want it like that, but I want it to be perfect. Oh, I was clicking the wrong thing, look. So I was clicking this. I don't even know what that is. I should have been using this thing. See, I had it to bounding box center. So I put it now to 3D cursor, which is there. Duplicate, scale X, minus one. Boom! All right, so I've just finished up cleaning up everything, naming everything, and I put in the IK controller for the arms and the legs. It's a pretty simple rig, I'll show you. So we've got some IKs with some pole targets. Move the arm around, it's pretty cool. And we've got feet, so we can make him walk. Yeah, 
I mean, it's a pretty simple rig, but you know, for this game, I really think it's gonna be enough, and I don't want a bunch of extra bloat with the armature, which is why I decided to just make my own from scratch. So I think it's gonna work pretty well for this game. So I think next step is to get this thing into Unreal Engine 4. And this is where I hit my first major roadblock. It turns out that seamlessly bridging assets from Blender to Unreal Engine 4 is not as simple as I was hoping for at all. And add to that that I had no idea how the skeletal rig system works in Unreal. I spent days watching tutorials and scouring the documentation and search for answers. I was struggling a lot with this. I was trying to get animations from the standard mannequin to apply to my boxer character and it turned out that this was not easy. And after many many hours of trial and error, I finally came up with a solution that I think works pretty well. It's not something that I can just go over in 30 seconds, so if anyone else out there is struggling, I can make a tutorial about my workflow from Blender to Unreal. I come here a lot, play with the dog, throw this ball around, she loves it, <laughs> she thinks it's so fun. And it's great exercise for her, and for me actually. I feel really good about our progress so far, and I can't wait to get further into this project. In the next episode, we'll set up some simple animations for our character, just so that we can get him moving around and get some punches in there as well. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see what I'm up to next, please consider subscribing, it would really help me out a lot. And I also make quick tutorials and other fun videos on this channel in between devlogs, so there's never a dull moment here. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.